All right, what is up, guys? It is 631 on April 4th. Just got off of work. Today was rough, as usual, but that's okay, because work is work. So today's video is gonna be more of a day in the life. I'm just gonna take you through what I do on the huge. So, we're headed to the gym. I forgot my camera stand, so I had to run home, grab it, and then we're off to the gym. So, see you next clip. Got the camera stand. See you guys at the gym. Ow! <laughs> I'm freaking crazy. I need some sleep. <laughs> My car's a little dirty, but that's okay. All right, we're off to the gym. coming at you with my second commentary um gonna keep this one short and sweet so we're gonna jump right into it today is my pull day which is back and biceps because it's the muscles you pull it just makes sense but um start off with a new row it's called a pentley row and i found this out from the online coach so what it is is you um it's really working on the explosion aspect of your back and so as you can see um i'm letting the weight touch the ground and that's on purpose because i'm really trying to explode it up and then let it down just it's working on the explosion and um the reason I'm letting it down fast is just because that's not what the exercise is for. It's not working the negative. This is working the explosion aspect. Try to keep your back at a 90 degree angle. As you can see in my, in my last set, um, I didn't keep it at the 90 degree angle the whole time. That's because I was trying to push it. I should probably be working on that. But yes, try to keep your back at a 90 degree angle. So next, I went to just a normal um, row uh, with a different variation just like most of you probably have seen before. But what I'm really trying to focus on is is holding that, um, that squeeze it at the end. And what I kind of like to think about is having a golf ball um, between my uh, traps and trying to really squeeze that golf ball every time and hold it a couple seconds. That's the way I feel it the best, and that's the way that um, has really helped me, you know, grow my back. And my back obviously still needs a lot of work, but um, that's – you know, the starting aspects to it for me. So next I went down to a lap pull down. Um, nothing really special about this exercise. One of the things that um, I really like to tell people about, and this is what I've learned, is act like there's a string hanging from your elbow, and that's what's pulling. It's not your hands, because most people, when you use your hands and you grip it really, really tight, your biceps get way too engaged, you're not even using your lats. So try to grip it as like less as possible. Try to just, you know, kind of hook your hands around it. Try to use your elbows to pull down. As you can see, my back is kind of arched too because I'm really trying to just get that squeeze. So that's another good thing. Next exercise is this just another row variation. Um, I saw this one on Instagram actually and I just kind of wanted to try it out. Absolutely love it. What I'm doing with my right hand is just feeling that lat stretch and exploding it up, letting it down slow. Um, the reason I like this is because the weight is very stable. Um, it's not all bouncing around everywhere. It's it's in a Smith machine, so you're just moving it back and forth. So yes, there is a use for this use for the Smith machine, guys. Um, but yes, after this, we went to a straight arm lat pull down, I believe. Yes, straight arm lat pull down. And what this is is um, you can do this with a rope, and you can really do this with anything. The the use of it is to really stretch out your lats at the top and bring it down, and right when you hold it at the the end really flex your lats out and that's really going to grow your width a lot um really love this exercise a lot and i superseded that with another variation of a row this is more of a higher row more to your chest to work the upper back i need a lot of growth in that so really really like this i got this one from the online coach as well the reason my foot is up you'll see in the next clip is because it just helps with stability no crazy reason or anything but yes holding it there a couple seconds really really just holding it there squeezing 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 is what has really helped me but next um i ended with just some bicep curls uh guys i did four sets of all these exercises 
just so you know, but went on to some bicep curls, and um, as you can see, I am kind of poking at it, and that's just to see that my bicep is kind of like just as tense as possible the entire time. I'm feeling the stretch and really just getting that mind muscle connection, as I always talk about. Um, so I did three sets or four sets of each, and I supersetted this one arm one with uh, the rope curls, and uh, really, really like that. The hammer curls really work in that um, second part of the bicep, it's because bicep. Bias two, but yes, this is a short workout today, just because I got off of work, was really really tired, but just really needed to get the workout in. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, see you next clip. All right, guys, just finished at the gym. Hopefully you guys liked the commentary. You guys couldn't see in the video, but today was a struggle. Not the best workout. In the middle of my workout, got yelled at for having a camera, which I've had permission to use before. Then they say my membership's canceled. I'm like, what the heck? And everyone kept asking me why I had a camera, so I had to stop halfway through. So I hope it was worth it, because that was rough. But now I'm going to go home, get some sleep, have class at, have chapel at 12. But uh have a little surprise for you guys before that, so stay tuned. What's up, people? I am headed to class, walking across this field of a very long distance. My house is there, very far. That's my church. Hey, chill, man. So yeah, I got class today. Um, the surprise will have to wait till later because I slept way too long. But that's okay because we had chapel canceled, so it was like you know God gave me an extra hour and a half of sleep, so. See you in class. What's up, Morgan? We in class. We out here. We'll see if I can zoom into us. Oh. Well, don't unpause. So we pause our screen so we can do whatever we want in class. And this controls the volume. Which also, we have off, so it's like we're not even here. Alright, alright, so now it's time to eat. But you know, I, I cook in a special way, so check it out in three, two, one. I might be anyone, a lone fool out in the sun, your heartbeat of solid gold, I love you, you'll never know, when the daylight comes you feel so cold, you know. What you doing? What? What you doing dog? Dude, I'm just doing what I do every day. I've literally never seen you like this. Like my day's like kind of interesting, dude. Come on, let me just let me just go with it, okay? I let me just you're, you're throwing my vibe off, right? Go, give it back at me. Let me let me okay. give it back. Okay. Here you go, go, go. I'm too afraid of my heart to let you go. I might be anyone. It happens, it just does every single time. 
come to enjoy my pink pancakes that I make on the daily. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so back to school after this. Peace. All right, guys. So I just got to class and I think I'm done filming because after class, I pretty much take a nap and then go to work and do it all again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next week's video is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be like a leg motivational workout. So thank you guys so much for the support. Um, really, I really do appreciate it a lot. I try to say as much as I can, but thank you guys. So see you next week.